Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. My name is Destiny and we're finally doing the last box from my 200 pounds. I'm sorry if the camera lighting looks a little weird. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's like overexposing, but hopefully we can get past that. I'm gonna be honest with you, there's still a big pile here. I have listed some from my, I'm gonna have to get turned around. I have listed some, but it's gonna be a couple weeks probably before this video comes out. So I'll tell you all, I am pregnant and this is my <laughs> fourth kid and um, I have been really sick. So I have not been motivated to do much of anything. I've also just been really tired as per usual pregnancy things. So we're gonna jump in, get through this box. Hopefully I am nine weeks along. So hopefully I'll be hitting the stride of the second trimester pretty soon. Um, but anyway, this angle is not the best. Maybe that'll be a little better. So anyway, let's get jump right in here. We've got some new tags. Zara shorts, black little cutoff shorts. Uh, these are called the high waist short in a size four. I don't know if Play-Dohs would take these. They'd probably do okay, but my Play-Dohs love Zara. Oh, Lafayette 148. This is an expensive brand that can do okay. I don't see any flaws, but right off is the blue dress. We have a Target sweater with some hair on the back. Um, this is just universal thread, size medium. It's a nice, really cute sweater. I wish I could, I live in Tennessee, if you didn't know. Um, this doesn't have any wool or anything, but it's just hardly gets cold enough for sweaters here. I'll probably take that one to Play-Dohs after I clean all this, good grief, all this hair off of it. They like the big chunky sweaters. And even though it's really cute, Target sweaters don't move very quick for me or for much, so. More shorts. Loft. I've been getting a lot of loft. Size 10. Paisley shorts. As I say in a lot of the videos, I'll definitely check condition better when I go to list. Banana Republic blazer. It is a cotton blend, so not wool or anything, but very nice classic looking blazer. It's got six buttons, like a navy color. New with tags. Banana Republic size two. This retailed for $88. We have a navy little ruffle skirt and it has a little bit of texture to it. Wow, the lighting in this area is just not great, is it? All right. More Zara. I wonder if ThreadUp's getting pickier with Zara. I don't really know what this is. It's kind of plaid. Uh, yeah. It's got like this down the side. I'm going to pause and see if I can fix it. Maybe that's a little better. I don't know. We'll just make it work. Okay. We have Sanctuary, which can be sold at Anthropology. It's not a brand that does great for me. Size extra small. It's got like a blue knit front and the back is completely sheer. This is interesting. Zara again, blue with a, oh, it just says Zara on that kind of abstract, kind of a shirt dress maybe, or just a tunic. Okay. Okay, this is a brand I've heard is really good, I think. Love Shack Fancy. I've never sold it. A pair of tie-dye pants. Okay, interesting. Y'all let me know about some of these brands. Loft Petites, size 10 Petite. This is just like a tweed skirt. If you've made it through all four videos, I'm happy you are enjoying it. Liz Claiborne, size large. I haven't really even felt like thrifting lately because I've just not felt good and I don't have the energy. So this is a great way for me to get some inventory in that I can work on as I feel like it. LLB, new with tags. This is a plaid flannel tunic women's plus size 3X. So that's nice, perfect season really cozy flannel a plus size try to get that listed right away where does all this hair come from this box also like this was the one with tracking so that was fortunate that it was stuck in georgia for well over a week i don't know what happened because the other three came all together 
This is just a buyer. Looks like someone got it at Goodwill. And these are a size seven, like a plaid pant. This might do okay based on style. Polo jeans. This is kind of a cute sweater, but kind of looks like, okay, so it's like a ribbed v-neck sweater. It's got the little Ralph Lauren flag, but it's kind of hard to tell, but it looks like it's got some makeup or discoloration right there. I can't tell. I might have to wash that. May just be the lighting. We have some REI pants. Looks like the size has rubbed off. Um, if I hold it like this, maybe an eight, but I can't be sure. I can, or a small, I don't know. There's REI, and these are hiking pants. These kind of feel like a pair I have, which these need a wash. There's like white stuff all over them. I don't know why someone would send those in to throw it up. You may pick them. Antonio Milani. Oh, this is the second piece I've gotten from them. The skirt. As if you watched one of the other videos, I can't remember which box it was in. Maybe box two. Um, I have it listed at around $70. And it has some interest already. But this is Antonio Milani. It is a size four. And it is a very small, like, houndstooth, I think blazer it's nice something new with tags okay I think this is express yeah express new with tags these are the stylist super high-rise shorts very pink I needed this one Barbie was big all my pink stuff sold fast vivid made in USA this looks vintage this is a small Tag. It's kind of pretty though. Okay. Got Escape by Habit Clothes. Never heard of this. Size small. Oh, I thought this is pants. Anyway, it's like a pullover sweatshirt and it has a pocket with a button. It feels. It's just a cotton spandex blend. I don't know. It feels interesting. Universal thread, size eight. These are the high rise midi shorts. They go green. They're much more green than they look. They can kind of tell. Mm, oh, <laughs> that's the bottom. Okay, this is love stitch, size small, camo tie front top. White House Black Market, size small. I had a skirt from this. From them in my one of my other boxes and it's listed and getting quite a bit of attention so maybe that brand's making it come back doe and ray i think this is a boutique size medium just like a satinish dress v-neck about halfway through the box i think Oops, okay rewash new with tags um is like a denim dress and it does have the belt with it I think it's a dress yeah denim dress more new with tags this is just the back or the front I can't tell okay almost famous size small so that's the back there's the front that's still a cute style I get I sell quite a few bundles and a lot of those items just get added in the bundle Harper size a medium. I don't think I've ever sold this brand. Front and front denim skirt. And then we have loft size medium chambray skirt. This might be linen, but I don't know. Yeah, 55% linen. I The very first piece that sold from these boxes was a loft skirt, so you never know. Michael by Michael Kors. White off the shoulder striped. Kind of feels like linen top. Well, if I could find them. Let's see, 100% linen, so there you go. Kind of moving out of linen season, but that's okay. J. Crew tank top, 
size small. This is one of my favorite brands to sell. Usually pieces more substantial than this, but that's okay. I'd rather see this in fast fashion. This is from 2015, so not super new. We have Milano, size medium, a black knit skirt. Feels very heavy. It might be something nice. It definitely needs a lint roll. Let's look down here. It's just viscose and polyester. Another J. Crew top, uh, J. Crew factory. This one because the little dots. Size small. Floral little popover blouse. This has got to be a Tommy Hilfiger. Yeah, and kind of has some pit stains. That's gross. Size medium, so I'm just gonna throw that to the side. I don't want to deal with that. <gasps> Mother, new with tags. The straight shaker ankle prep. Okay, I'm guessing these must have a flaw somewhere, but <laughs> that would be a nice chunk of this box paid for. I just sold a blazer today from one of the other boxes for 70. So, yeah, I'll take that. More Tommy Hilfiger. Now I'm nervous about pit stains with this, but this is a really cute, like, shirt dress. And it's got some fun embroidery on the bottom. Okay. Newest tag. Gap. I feel like I heard someone say that you know, Thread Up is being a lot more particular with Gap. They don't take Gap outlet or anything. This is new with tag size 30, which is like a 10. These are some corduroy like skinny pants, so those should do pretty good. Okay. Liverpool, size extra large. Something has strong perfume smell in here. Um, I think these are sometimes in Fitch Fix boxes. I don't know. It's like a coat. Got some Gymshark leggings. And I said it in one of my other videos, but in case you didn't watch, usually this tag is down here in the ankle and someone has cut it out. So I'll probably see if these are in good shape. I'll see if Play Doh's wants them because they'll take them without a size. People can try them on in there. If they don't, I'll list them. This is Anna, which is like Cole, Cole's brand. It's got some interesting side detail. Another Anna shirt, size large, but this one's cute with the feathers. Sometimes the novelty print will sell it. Tommy Hilfiger, again, this one's kind of fun. Looks like it needs a wash, but it's like a polo dress with the spell out kind of Y2K feel. Express, size extra small a silk top with the black lace. Calvin Klein shorts. Okay, look at these things. You see how dirty they are? <laughs> they look like they have a size cut out. I'm just going to put those over in the donate with the same shirt. New York and Company, size large, button front dress. Um, I don't always list New York and Company, but this is a linen blend, so I definitely will. Uh, BCBG Maxazria, size small. This is just like a blouse. This brand does not perform for me very well at all. Mm. We got some more Zara. This is just like a little reddish thing. Oh, I... Okay, that's the back. The open thing's the back. I couldn't tell at first. And it is a romper. Tommy Hilfiger size 8. Somebody sent in their whole Tommy collection. White eyelet shorts. Oh, this stack is getting, you can probably tell on the camera, it's getting pretty big. More black with dog hair. Size 10, Dana Buckman. Actually new with tags. Retail, do you want $48? Um, okay, there's a skirt with so much white fuzz on it. 
but it could be lint rolled. That's an interesting. I wonder if that's. It doesn't feel like real leather trim. I do have hiccups, so sorry about that. And Paul Harris Design, size two. It's like vintage, like a high waisted pant. And we have a navy with a cuff at the bottom. I don't know what's making all this white hair. Torrid, size five. And Torrid has vanity sizing, so that is like a 5X. And it is a pink blouse tank with a tie on the front. I love to sell Torrid. It's a really solid bread and butter. That has a few pulls, but I could still probably get 15 to 20 out of it. Under Armour. If it doesn't know Under Armour, definitely needs a wash or a lint roll. Okay, something new tag. These are interesting. Storets, Storets, Ivory, Aspen Pleather Bermuda Pants. Here's what this looks like. Okay. Pleather Bermuda Pants. Okay. That's a statement piece, no doubt. Alright. Tea by Tahari. I have a sweater very similar to this. I got one of the other boxes. It's cute, but I think... This one also does not have a size. And it's not really anything special. It's a fabric content, so I don't know if I'll list it or not. This is Liz Lang Maternity, size small. Pretty sheer blouse. You'd still have to wear something underneath that. Okay, we got about a third left. H&M, size large. Regular fit. I think this might be a men's shirt. It's got circles and dots on it. <laughs> this stack is getting so big. I'll move it over a little bit. Okay, Coldwater Creek. Someone cut out the size. Looks like this would go over like a Mother the Bride dress. Like very, has that kind of shimmery look to it. Oh, this is cute. Is this like Shein or something? Probably, yeah. It looks like but it's just a little corset top. Hopefully it has a size. It's all in Asian down here, so I can measure it. This will sell based on style for like 12, 12-ish 12 probably. Oh, we have another one. This one does have a brand though. It is Gigi Clark Modern Couture. Um, let's see. There's another tag in here. It's a silk blend made in the USA, so here's what it looks like. Really cute. I don't see a size, unfortunately. I think someone cut it out. But, oh, see? Okay. That'd be something good. I can definitely measure it. It looks like maybe a small, medium. Oh, and another one. This one is Sema. Why do none of these have a size? That's okay. Here's what this one looks like. S-E-E-M-A. And another, like, corset top. These are fun. Those sell really well for me. Oh, this looks like real leather. This is Vera Pell, made in Italy. Um, so, like, I think it's like a poncho. But it feels like suede. Um... Uh, has a little damage on the inside. I'll have to look like something right there. I'll have to look that up. But it feels like real suede. New tags and tailor size extra large. Red blouse. Alright. The end is in sight. Athleta. Another one of my favorite brands to sell. This is from 2018 size medium, pair of black leggings, pockets. Looks fine to me. There's no nothing right off the bat wrong with it. Got some two new tag target pieces. We have a pink dress, size small. This retail, this is Universal Thread, retailed for $20. This one retailed for $25 and it is a size medium. 
Oh my. So this is like a dress with the sides cut out. We have Made by Anthropology size medium. This feels like some kind of expensive fabric. 100% cashmere, so that's nice. I'll have to really check that over, but even if it has a couple little holes, you can still get 20, 30 bucks out of it. Another new tags. This was on clearance for $14.99. Retailed for 30. Size small, universal thread cardigan. I'll probably just try that at Play-Doh's. Let's see, we've got new tags, New York and Company, size 10. We got interesting romper. Oop, I hear one of my babies awake. Let me go grab him and then I'll finish this up. Okay, his dad was up there. False alarm. I thought he was still outside. Okay. This is called The Shirt by Rochelle Barons. Okay, size small. Not sure why he's in such a grumpy mood, but he just woke up from his nap. Okay, this feels, yeah, looks like Shein or something. So just like a little floral dress. I will list Shein and stuff if it's, if the style's cute enough and I still get like 10 bucks out of it. Better than it just getting thrown away. I think this is maybe, this has, what I can tell, no tags in it. So like a yellow top, I don't see anything on the inside. Okay, this feels like wool or cashmere one. 100% cashmere. But I don't see a brand. Oh my goodness, that kid. Anyway, 100% cashmere sweater. No brand at all though, that I can tell. D dot R A. I don't know what that is. Size medium. Some kind of dress. Forever 21 sweater. This is really cute. But it's a size extra large. So I'll definitely take that to Play-Doh's. See if they want it. I don't know when I'll get over to Play-Doh's. I don't live super close. But when I go into town, sometimes I go over there. It says Primark, US, size 12, it's a button front dress, green, has a waist high, might be linen, as well as the button, so it's probably new without tags. Um, okay. Well, I don't see the fabric content down there. Oh, I think we got like 10 pieces left. We're we're going through it here. Japna, size medium. This is a like boutique kind of TJ Maxx-ish thing. It's like a tie-dye-ish. Um, well, I think it's like one of those super billowy jumpsuits. Yeah, like you put it on up here and then it goes down straight into these big legs. I'm guessing that's what you do with that. Okay. This is new with tags. So it's from Amazon. Lark and Row, size 14. It's a little black dress with pockets. Oh, our pile's getting big again, even though I just pushed it over. All right, let's see. Petite sophistication, size zero. Definitely a vintage looking tag. A cute dress, very retro 90s. Look. Under Armour, I'm guessing, doesn't really have a size that I can tell. Standard Under Armour hoodie thing. No size. All right, two pieces left. First, Sanctuary again. This is a white striped blazer. Oop. Missed the pile. 
All right, last is KF Bridal. So like a bridesmaid's dress. It's blue, strapless. Oh no, it's not strapless. You pull this up, halter. I didn't see a size. This might be like a custom thing. Let me look down here. I don't see any other tags. Looks like it does have pockets, so that's cool. I'll have to look into that because there's no size, but might be a decent brand. All right, well now you have seen all 200 pounds. And I'm gonna show you, this is how the box showed up. So we made it through. This was not a bad 200 pounds at all. I'm getting new with tag mother jeans and a lot of other good promising and bread and butter items. So I'm really happy with that. I hope you guys enjoy these videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.